Well, this artifact was actually found in the tomb of Tutankhamun. It is actually a authentic artifact. And once again, we see the twin soul information and the ancient Egyptian number coding all throughout this artifact. Now we can clearly see that the male and female twin souls are clearly represented. Once again, we have the male on the left and we have the female on the right. Now the other really interesting thing I find about this artifact is that we can actually see that there are two parts to the male and two parts to the female. Now this is actually depicting the physical and the ethereal forms of the soul because remember we are first and foremost ethereal energetic souls and we are manifested into this physical form so we can experience life on this physical realm and so we can see this clearly depicted within this artifact they show both the physical and the ethereal whenever we see a human figure in ancient Egyptian artwork and even in the Sumerian artwork if we see wings on this figure they are symbolizing the ethereal state the ethereal form of the soul now we have eight of these boxes down the bottom we don't include the corners and we know that eight symbolizes the immortal soul the immortal twin soul as well as the infinite God energy and when the twin souls have reunited with God consciousness this becomes a nine this becomes the divine number which is a nine and so we see the eight in the correct position at the bottom of the seven gates now if we imagine that our chakras are seven gates back to God consciousness and that we have to move back through our ethereal body to be reunited with God consciousness once again and that is what our journey on this manifested realm is all about taking the path back to God and taking the higher path back to God because if we take the lower path the path of instant gratification then we actually stay in bondage and this is not really where we want to be we stay in bondage and we stay in death because those that are not the good souls those that are deemed to be uh, defective or tainted will actually not pass judgment and they return back to God's source completely devoid of who they are. They return to Atum as just energy to be remanifested when Orion thinks the souls back into existence. And then these souls are manifested on the physical realm that is Mother Earth through the sun and the moon. And we see as well that the male soul is on the left where he should be and he is the embodiment of Horus and the female is on the right and she is the embodiment of Isis. We also see the Eye of Ra and this symbolizes God's connection to us God's eyes always watching us now we also see that uh, these chakras are separated from the rest of the chakra system and this is because these two chakras are our foundational chakras we have the root chakra that is attached uh, to mother earth so this is how we lock on to the energy of Mother Earth and this is at our ankle chakra it is not at the bottom of the spine it is at the ankle and we can clearly see that the ancient Egyptians are depicting the root chakra at our ankle and I have done other videos 
showing that the root chakra is at our ankles. It is not at the bottom of our spine. And if you are continuing to do any energy work with crystals and you are using the bottom of your spine as the location of your root chakra, you are not getting the full benefits of any energy work that you do. And so I would suggest that you try the crystals at your ankles and you will actually then see the difference for yourself and I won't have to continue uh, trying to convince anyone. All you need to do is actually try it for yourself. Uh, no more needs to be said because uh, you will experience the energy uh, flow throughout your body and uh, it is very different to when you are only putting it on your you know, spine, bottom of your spine. Okay, so uh, we see the sacrum chakra and as I said, these are both the foundational chakras and this is why they are actually depicted differently. Now, we also see uh, the trinity uh, in these angles here. We've got three, three and three and that gives us 12. And we also see that the third eye chakra is right here at this location just before the wings open and we reunite back with God or God consciousness, however you would like to think about that. And we can clearly see a heart shown here, right where the heart chakra should be, which is, you know, right where it should be located. We have the heart chakra on what looks like a human heart with ventricles and everything. And we also see the eight here. So we have 88 and this is the symbolism for the two souls, the male and female soul that is immortal. And we also see 10 up the top here. And 10 is infinity because if we divide the Trinity three into 10, we get an infinite number, 3.33, and it just goes on infinitely. So that is showing the infinite God energy as well. So there you go, guys. That is the artifact that they found in uh, the tomb of Tutankhamun, and it has all of the relevant numbers uh, encoded in there. Uh, and once again, we see 8 and 8 equals 16, 16 equals 7, and 7 symbolizes the ethereal body. So we're also seeing the ethereal body of both a male and female twin depicted here as well. Well, I will leave it there. And as I have stated previously, all of these diagrams are available in my Facebook group if you would like to have a look at them in more detail. Well, I'll leave it here, guys. And as always, peace out.